Good morning, y'all. It is just, I think it's around 9.30 on a Monday morning. Oh, welcome to the vlog. I'm just gonna dedicate my day to finishing getting my shit, shit together. And getting a little bit of work done. I babysat from noon to five today. I did get some work done while the child was napping, which was lovely. It was really 5.45, I guess. And then I came home and we had dinner and now I'm getting after it, baby. So I'm gonna get a little bit of work done and then that's gonna be a wrap on today. I have roped Jake into being my buddy. I do so much better with buddies. I'm training for a half marathon with a buddy and I've been so disciplined on my running. You, you gotta do well for someone else. If I don't train, then like I can't run with my pal. So I, anyways, I got Jake to be my 6 a.m. girly buddy and we'll see how it goes, but that's it. Good morning, it's Tuesday. It's seven, see? We went for a little walk skis and I journaled and that has been my morning. It's at the end of Tuesday and I just needed a grind and focus today. Um, I got a lot done. I got a ton of schoolwork done and went for a run. I was super nervous because <laughs> it was my longest run that I was doing alone without a friend um, and I crushed it. We went to dinner, it was a lovely time, had a ball and I will see you tomorrow. Wednesday YouTube. Big work day for me today. Yeah, big work day. It is 7.51. I got up, journaled a little, got out of bed. Now we're getting to work. You guys wanna help me with this quiz question? A child with tactile defensiveness is receiving intervention from an OT using sensory integrative approach. Which method is most effective for the therapist to use when introducing tactile stimuli to the child? Things I'm bad at, pediatrics, pediatrics, pediatrics. But tactile def defensiveness, okay. Provide deep touch and firm pressure where the child can see the stimuli. Seems plausible. Apply the stimuli in a direction opposite of hair growth with vision occluded, no. Apply light touch across the face and abdomen with vision occluded. I feel like they should be able to see it if they're like defensive. Provide light brushing across the palmar surface is of the extremities with the child watching. Yeah, I feel like you start light and then go to firm with them visibly seeing it. So we're gonna put provide light brushing. Just me and my 25 out of 50 score. Again, these are more weighted than direct, direct hits. So 50% isn't great, but it means that I know a little bit because this is an MBCOT practice quiz and the MBCOT is not a directly, like it's scaled. So for our practice purposes, they told us that Anything above a 30 means that you have a pretty good sense and just need to review it a little bit. Anything between 20 and 30 means you need to review it a moderate amount. And you give, if you get less than 20, then you need a lot of help in that area. So 25, I kind of expected for this one. Um, and I need to review this domain moderately. Talk about getting distracted from work. I just signed up to be a match if needed. Uh, it used to be called Be The Match, now it's NMDP, don't know what that stands for, to be honest, but um, I'll be getting a test swab kit in the mail to determine my tissue type. And then if someone needs bone marrow or blood cells from me, I am now going to be on that registry to help them, which would be just the honor of a lifetime. So this is your reminder to go do it. I'll leave the link below if you have considered it for a little while. It's almost time for breakfast. I chefed it up. Breakfast sandwich, egg, turkey bacon, cheese, and then I added some greens, uh, baby spinach and arugula. And then we got half a cantaloupe. Um, fun fact, you can use measuring spoons as a melon baller. So I have one thing that is only meant for one thing, i.e. a melon baller, when you have something that's multi-purpose. Walk through this with me. Today's a Wednesday, usually it's a lift day, but 
but tomorrow we have a winter storm watch that starts at 11 a.m. and goes through 5 p.m. on Friday, where we could get anywhere from three to 11 inches. Either way, I won't wanna run outside in that kind of weather. So I'm thinking I have a three mile and a five mile run left this week and then one lift. And I did just run five miles yesterday. So I think I shouldn't do another five milers because my legs are tired and also I don't, I don't want to. So I'm thinking I'm gonna run three miles up here. I live kind of in the mountains, so it's super hilly and we're at a higher elevation. Running is just generally a little bit tougher up here. And when I have longer runs, my focus is like running the whole time. So I think I do the shorter run up here and then I don't have to drive into the city at all. When I say into the city, it's like 10 minutes away, but still. Um, and then tomorrow morning, I go down in the city. It's gonna be cold and I just have to know that it's gonna be cold, but I go do that and do my five miles tomorrow morning and then Friday morning lift. I think that sounds logical. Does anyone else? I just have a hard time when I have to like change the schedule because it was supposed to be a lift day, so I was gonna get up early and lift, but then the weather kind of throws that off. And then it's like, okay, what time do I run in order to be able to shower so that I can go do my other commitments today? And I have a tough time when I like can't plan my day around it. But I need to learn to be flexible. And yesterday I ran and I was just disgusting for six hours, which is also an option, but I do have to go see other people today. And we're actually going out to dinner because it's Denver restaurant week tonight. And I do want to look somewhat nicer for that, but I babysit until six and then we're gonna go from six to then. So I have to go to babysitting, dress nicely. So it's 11. Um, I have to leave to babysit by, like I need to be walking out the door at 2.40. My options are go run now, come home, shower, make lunch. And I'm cooking a kind of fancier lunch. So it's gonna take a little bit more time or make lunch, run, shower, get ready to go babysit, do a little work in between. But I'm not hungry for lunch right now. So I think I run and then yeah. <sighs> A mountain lion was seen literally like two days ago on my running route up here. So this is coming with us. Headed a mile and a half outside, but we live on hills and it was just killer, it was brutal. So I'm gonna go finish up my second mile and a half on a treadmill. So I was definitely supposed to marinate the chicken. I'll link the marinade below. Um, so I'm doing that and eating pizza for lunch. Like I kind of said before, I'm going to babysit, but we have dinner reservations like right after. So I have to get ready for that. The restaurant that we're going to is not particularly fancy. It's like upscale urban dining. It's nothing too, too cray cray. Uh, but I am gonna do just a teeny weeny bit of makeup. And while I do that, I figured I would bring you guys into the loop uh, or like kind of update you all on how I'm feeling. I have been, I mean like not perfect, but better at waking up in the mornings. It is so incredibly silly how much my mornings dictate my whole last day. Like if I don't have a good morning, I'm not having a good day. It's just been like good to kind of start the tone of my mornings just slightly better and slightly more like how I want them to. I feel like the past Let's see, I had a really good first week of Capstone and then I did a week where I just kind of let my body sleep and relax because I was dealing with like insane fatigue. Um, and then ever since then, I like could not bounce back my mornings. And I've been dealing with burnout before, but that was definitely what pushed it to the edge of like, I just couldn't do anything during the day. Um, and so it was both frustrating because that also didn't solve my like fatigue issue. Um, I did find like literally last week I was sleeping like 10 hours a night and I felt pretty good and so I was like okay let's switch back to waking up early and see how things go and I'm doing okay so I don't know what's going on so yeah I would say like my burnout feelings kind of came to a head like they were their worst the last couple of weeks and I was just pretty freaking done to be honest. I was not having it with anything or anyone um, and I just couldn't really figure out what's going on. Couldn't really do anything. Yeah, I just kind of committed. To, <laughs> this is cute. I just kind of committed to figuring that out and I said the first thing that I want to do is just start having a really good mornings again because I feel like 
at least I can set the tone of my day a little bit better. And so that was kind of my goal this week. And obviously it's only Wednesday. I honestly, sleep last night was not fantastic and sleep the night before was not fantastic for other reasons. It was just kind of weird. There was like an animal in the middle of the night making a really weird sound outside. I got really hot at one point, which is kind of unusual. And then the night before, I don't know. Just not great nights on the sleeping spectrum of things. And then, but I, I got, I mean, like I was waking up at 6.30, 6, 6, 6.30. I'm feeling a little better. Obviously, I mean, my burnout's not cured just from waking up earlier. I think my burnout will be cured by graduating, but I am making active steps just to have better days and it's working. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. It's not a good place. It's not a bad place. It just kind of is a place. Um, in terms of what I'm doing for Capstone this week, oh, frick me. I got my freaking eyelid in there. In terms of what I'm doing for Capstone this week, I am working on writing like a script for the training materials I have and um, creating user-friendly documents for therapists to understand the softwares. Um, there's a lot of language in the softwares that are not intuitive to rehab practitioners so i'm creating kind of like a little dictionary um of that for 3d printing i think i'll just wear these big chunky balls big chunky balls that is what she said for shorty easy peasy i'm gonna wear just a sweater and black jeans and some blundstones nothing exciting hey good morning it is 6.53, believe it or not. I'm headed down. We're supposed to get pretty major snow this afternoon. Um, and so I have a girl that's moving into the townhouse. I'm subletting my room to her. And then, and I need to swap out, the shower curtain was kind of mildewy. So I just need to swap, swap out the liner. And then I have a five mile run today. Thus the running look. Um, I'm gonna try to do it fasted. As you guys know, I don't eat till 10. I usually will try to like push my run or try to eat something, but I just like wasn't really feeling eating. So we're just gonna get out first thing in the morning. Snow moves in between 11 and two, which is really helpful. So I just wanna be back before that. I am, I've crushed all of my runs this week, so I'm not super, like if this one doesn't go to plan, it'll be fine. Anyways, I will see you all later, skater. Who, me running five miles totally perfectly fine? <sighs> uh, crushing it. What's up with me and filming while I'm reversing? I probably shouldn't do that. I don't know if I said this after my run on Tuesday, but I kind of just have set the expectation to myself that I have to prove to myself that I can do realistic things that I know that I can do. Um, and running five miles, if you're a runner, you're like, that's no, no big deal. I am becoming a runner because it's becoming no big deal. I'm not a fast runner. That's a summer's problem. Um, but it just felt so good to just do it. I think I've kind of just been in a slump where my motivation and discipline have been poor. And so I'm just like cold turkey forcing myself to be better. so I'm perfectly fine with it. I actually just worked out, um, didn't bring you along. I have a headache, I'm gonna hydrate, I have my glasses on, and just kinda try to take care of myself there, but I have a lot of work to do, so. Okay, it's Friday, so I guess I'll update you on all the schoolwork that I've done this week, um, because I do, I do do that. Um, my biggest focus this week was to kind of create like a 3D printing guide using Microsoft OneNote right now. Um, I'm going to continue working on this over time, but 
I basically have some of the I have basically all of the settings that a rehab practitioner would need to know kind of what they do and I took them all and I put them in one document so and these are in order of the type of um, slicer that they use so if you're like oh what is the infill you could come here quickly and look that the infill is the pattern inside the walls that affects the structural strength um, so I think this will be a really useful document just to help them understand what each thing is and why they would want to use it I am no professional bed maker but we did get new bedding and I wanted to show you because I think it's so pretty I love the green we live in the mountains so I love like earthy colors and then we have like a ton of wood in here which I feel like the green pops but also it works really nicely okay next on the academic to-do list is actually starting a 3d print um, <laughs> I'm killing two birds with one stone here because my goal this week was to just 3d print a ton of stuff with the hopes that I would just like learn more from experience right things would fail I'd have to learn how to fix them whatever and I have a friend with a birthday coming up and this friend loves plants. She's a plant gal for sure. So I found this, I found this pot that is pot. It, you print the dirt, you print the stems, and then these leaves are actually coasters, which is so cute and it's a monstera. So I'm gonna try to print the pot first because they're all like separate bits. I'm also unsure if I'm gonna need supports or not on this pot so we're gonna try it see if it fails sorry i feel like all these clips this week are so dark but it's just been like a great dreary week hang out here and make sure this seems to be printing okay it's got three hours on it i won't stay the whole three hours Let's see what happens <laughs> It's durable. This is the pot part, and that's done. I just 3D printed that. It's a Friday. The goal is happiness, not health, okay? <laughs> 